Hey everybody, it's Barbie at Nellie and Ruth Designs, and today we are going to work on this cute little, um, I don't know if I want to call it, a, I'm going to call it a little accordion pocket. I don't know what else to call it, um, but this is made with um, little coin envelopes. Let me show you. So this is going to be this is going to be a fun little project. I don't know if we'll get it all done in the first video here, um, but let me show you what we're going to, how you're going to attach these together. So these are the coin envelopes, and they're small. I buy these um, in a large box, and gosh darn it, I thought I was all set. I thought I was all set and ready for this, but I'm not. That only makes me human. So these measure when you have the flap down. These are three and a half by two and a half, okay? And I've had to make little notes on it, glue here, otherwise I won't, I won't remember how to do this. Um, so, the first thing you're going to want to do, I have one, two, three, four envelopes. Two, three, four. Set the others aside over here in the pile of the land of scraps over here. You're going to want to fold the tops. You don't have to use white ones. Um, they make them in a craft color. I'm using white because I want to do the faux, um, come on, this is my second cup of coffee. As you can see, I'm not thinking real well this morning. I want to make the faux tea dyed paper. So the first thing you're going to do, and I'm going to glue this here, and I'll glue it after I get these done with you. Um, I want mine to be able to open this way and this way, okay? So you're going to want to take your first two and you're going to glue them together like this. So they, they come together like this here. And if I mess this up, like I said, I'm only human. Because I just was playing with these this morning. And um, I was thinking of something different to do. So this is new to me as well as it being new to you. And then I just put this together like this. I make sure these ends are lined up. And then I glue it like this. Now, if you want to, and I'm not going to make a little, I call these little divots. If you want to make a little half circle or a divot using your punches, you can. Um, I'm not going to, though. I'm, I just want to slide something in. I kind of want it to be like a little hidden pocket. So you see how these stick together like this? Then you're just going to, so here's, here's the first, here's the bottom here. So then you're going to take this and you're just going to, um, and it doesn't matter. I'm putting mine this way so I can have the pocket here. You're going to glue this section down here, this little flap. Okay. And I don't mind if these um, are on here showing like this. We're going to be covering it up with little pieces of ephemera and, and such. So, all right. And then what you're going to do is you're going to flap this one over. All right, so then it's like this. Then you're going to take your second card, your third card, and you're going to glue it on here like this. 
I hope I'm explaining this okay. And again, I'm just going to, because this art glitter glue sticks very quickly. And I'm just going to line it up with this here. Okay, so this is what we have so far. We have our, and I'm going to put again on here, glue here to make your pocket. Okay, so then it folds this way, folds this way, and then this is your last flap, your last envelope here, and you're going to glue it on like this, okay? And you could keep going with these. You could make as many little um, accordions that you want. thundering out. Can you hear it? I hope we get a, a nice rainstorm. Okay. So that is our little accordion here. And then what I'm going to do, once I get these all um, fold up to make it look like tea dyed or tea stained, um, envelopes then I will glue that pocket down and then I will show you the images that I'm going to put on there because we're going to need some small images this is the one I just glued so I do have a video also on how to do I'm going to do them right straight across the t um, the faux tea dyed i I chose today, I chose Stormy Sky um, from Ranger Inc., Brushed Corduroy. I want to add some pistachio, and I have some bamboo leaves. And I just think this is the fun part here. So let's see. I want to use, I want to use my lighter colors first. And this is just plain wax paper here. So what I do is I just put a little bit of ink on the um, wax paper, and then I add I add some water, and then I take my stamping block and I just add it to this, and I got a piece of ah, I have a piece of paper here that I will start stamping the, this on. Let me make it a little bit more room here. This one is the bamboo leaves. And I'm just going to blend all of these colors together. I'm just going to do this until I, I'm satisfied with with all the different shades that I have going on. Let me just make sure I'm in camera here. It's getting dark here. I hope my lighting. I hope my lighting is okay. Um, for you. Okay. 
And I'm going to do some blue. Uh, I think I'm going to do the brown first. Corduroy. I really like this technique. I just think it's fun. Um, can add as many different colors as you want. With your water, you can make it, you know, as dark as you want. I really like this technique. I'm going to get one side done first. Just make sure I'm in camera. All right, then I'm going to add some blue. And again, you want to always start with your... Um, your light colors first. And obviously we're going to have to let these dry. I will just do one today. Um, Okay, this I'm going to let dry over here, and then we'll come back and do the um, back side. I could do the back side first. Um, I'm just going to get a little bit more scrap paper. I'll get a couple bigger pieces here just so it doesn't get on my my mat. I should have my messy mat out. All right, so we're going to, um, we're going to flip this over and we will do this side next. Okay, so I'm just going to fold this over. Sometimes I skip through these steps, but um, I'm not today because I just want everybody to get a good feel for, um, you know, how to do this. Sometimes you'll do something like this and you'll think, okay, did she put the water on the, um, on, on the, uh, paper or you know did she spray the spray the envelopes I don't really remember you know how how she did it so I think this is just a little it's just a little reinforcement for you and then sometimes I dab it just to get those little extras there and this is getting a little saturated so I am just going to you can't really tell there that I did it did can you but I did And I just do this to kind of make the dots on the okay I 
am running out of space, aren't I? Next, I'm going to use the brown. What I'm finding with this uh, with this already being wet, um, that the ink, and it's, I guess I'm glad that I am doing this with you, the ink is settling down um, inside the wax paper, and it's kind of going through to the other side. So you may want to have a couple different um, pieces of your wax paper. See that, how it's not really Okay, we're just going to add some blue, and then I'm going to flip this right onto this scrap paper and do the blue. Then we'll let this dry, and I'm going to show you the book that I'm going to be using for my images. It's a very sweet book. And um, you might be able to find one I got mine online through one of the, I don't know if it was Abe Books, A-B-E. That's where I buy a lot of books, used books. Um, but it became very popular for a while. Um, I learned about this book through Liz Smith over at Mrs. Cog's Crafts. Um, and then I was able to get the book... Ah, Running out of room here. I was able to get the book. Uh, I'm just going to put this water on my other desk. Okay. I don't want to tip that over. For about, I think, $6 at the time. And that was a, so here we have both of our sides. And I'm going to just set this aside up here and let this dry. Um. I've got all these projects going on at my desk and these I'm not going to throw away because I can still use these for scraps. I've got scrapbooking, family scrapbooking photos. My Cricut machine is open here. I've got my yo-yo journal on here. I've got uh, two books that I want to review um, and put those on my Instagram shop. Um, yeah, my desk is a mess today, but that's okay. So this is the book that I'm speaking about, Sarah Maida's South of France. It's a sketchbook. Oh, I got this at Thrift Books, okay? Right here, Thrift Books. And like I said, I think I got it for $7. But this is the sweetest little book. I'm going to move down a little bit here so you can really see the pages because... Um, these pages are tiny. Let's get the lights here. I just feel it feels so dark. We're going to move this light in a little bit. Move this light. I'm going to move my coffee over. And um, they have all these very sweet little images in here. And I have I have two books by Sarah. And one book is a gar she has a gardening book, and I use that to make some specimen cards with. And these are just the sweetest little whimsical. Here you have a little Frenchman um, pulling this window on on a trolley here, or a dolly. That's cute. But there's beautiful little images in here. Um, you know, something like this, you could actually cut out, make a tag out of this. You could make a tag out of that and put your embellishes, which probably um, I will do, add some ephemera. So <clears throat> this might be a fun um, a fun work, book to work out of. So these go by the month. Here we, here we have April. 
Okay, I think my Culligan man is here. Let me go check, and I will be right back because I can't miss him. Okay, where were we? Yeah, I had to get the Culligan uh, driver. We have the salt tabs um, delivered, and I can't miss them. So, because if I don't greet him, they won't they won't leave it at the the door or ring the bell to come in. I don't know why, but at any rate. So, getting back to this book, um, it just has some wonderful images in it. Look at all these little houses here. So it has um, pencil or ink and ink sketches, some real photos. But all of these pages would be wonderful um, to make tags with and continue uh, to put your ephemera on. Jazz them up, cut out. I'm going to be cutting... Um, some images out to put on the little accordion. Um, see that? It's got all little. So like I said, I think it does go by months. Yeah, here's November. So you could actually do a really sweet little um, annual, a uh, yearly junk journal with these because they are very, very cute. Look at that. All little French um, signs, street signs. These would be very cute. Cut out, added to a collage item. So if you can get your hands on this book, um, it would be really fun. A lot of fun to use. This here, you can make a, a, a postcard style. It's already started. Um, with some wonderful images. So I think today um, I'm going to be using, I saw these images here and I think these are really cute. Uh, the little, almost like a vineyard with the cars traveling on them. And then I'm going to be using some other images, but with this here, I kind of want to tell, this is nice and dry now, I kind of want to tell a story with this. So um, I'm going to be cutting these out here. And then the other ones I thought I would do, I might do some houses around here. I'm not quite sure. So I'm going to um, peruse this once again. And then when I get all the images that I want to use, um, they'll all be cut out, and then we will continue working um, in this. But for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, where I said glue here, I'm going to get this glued so I can get this pocket. We're going to have a little pocket in the back, and I'm going to get this pocket all done here. I am going to... Uh, distress it up a little bit with the ink. We'll get that glued and then I will be back with my images. And I'm going to do both sides just so the white isn't Showing a lot on top. And I do like the white coming through because they, uh, I just think it brightens it up a little tiny bit. Again, you can use craft envelopes if you want to. But I do, I like the white as a little contrast. Just going to want to let's see we've got that side do this side here and I think that's right here I feel like I'm on a roller coaster going back and forth up and down 
this one. And then I think we're all set. Okay, I'm going to just come back, zoom back out a little bit. All right, so that is all done and taken care of. And then I'm going to find where I wrote um, glue here. And you don't want to do, don't do the whole flap because remember, you're going to make a little pocket here. And you don't want to, so I'm just going to fold that over there. And then we are going to do the bottom here as well. Let me make sure that I have it the right way. Yep. And I'm going to glue the bottom here, which I should have done before. Like I said, I've this is new to me just as much as it's new to you. There. Okay, so the bottom is glued, the side is glued, and then we have a nice little pocket. And I'm just going to get this glued down again here. Okay, all right. So that's where we're at right now. I'm going to go cut out some images, and then I will be back. Okay, I have my images cut out, and they're set over here um, just to the side. So I just want to remember that this part here, this is, says glue to page. Brought my camera down a little bit because some of these um, little images are quite tiny. So the first thing, I have two that I want to put here and then I have three that will go over here on each of these envelopes. So I think I will do the three first. Um, so these are tiny and let's see, I'm going to grab the first one here and if you can see, um, I had a lot of fun cutting these out because I do like doing this work. Um, so I took one of the pages from the interior of the book and it looks, looks like this. This is all part of the inside of the book. And all I did was start ripping and tearing. So I wanted to add, um, a background, um, because it is kind of busy, but that's okay. I like it like that. Um, so I ripped and tore some of the pieces here and then they had these cute little houses in here hotels houses um so i want to add i have a little storyline going on here and i thought it would be kind of cute to make this into a little um french storybook i guess so i'm just going i have some little French sayings here that I, I typed out onto my computer. And then I cut all these little men out here. Um, this was a page with all little men on it and little Frenchmen. And I just thought they were adorable. So I cut a lot of these out and they're going to be placed throughout. And um, I did add some of these. I cut these little tiny palm trees little different palm trees out to add to it. Um, I do like this detailed work. Um, I think that just makes it, I know a lot of people do not have the patience um, to do a lot of cutting. And with small images, I always use my um, X-Acto knife because I can get a really clean, sharp um cut on it. Let's see. I want to have it kind of like this over here. And I do know with this art glitter glue, once I put it down, um, that is it. It is down and it is not coming up.
So I started this video, oh gosh, this morning, um, when everyone was gone and it was nice and quiet. And it's actually 10.07 p.m. now. I've had so many interruptions today. <clears throat> I was moving right along, getting all of this stuff cut out. And I thought my son and daughter-in-law were home. And because um, I heard somebody downstairs yelling, um, the dogs were barking frantically. And I thought, well, that's not really the bark when the kids come home. And it was friends of ours, um, Patrick and Laura. And Patrick used to work for us many, many, many moons ago. His wife was our dental hygienist when the boys were four and five. Um, so that was 20 years ago. And they popped in um, and surprised us, just came barreling in the house, and um, we went out to dinner with them. So we didn't get back until quarter of nine, and I had a little bit more um, cutting to do. And I told my husband, you go to bed, go to bed and read, and I've got to finish this video. So once again, it's nice and quiet in the, in the house. There, so we have this little Frenchman here um, with a couple little palm trees attached out in front. And we have, whoops, we have this little French saying here. Como se va? And you'll probably be able to figure out what this says. Like I said, I have a little, I thought I'd do a little story. I thought that would be fun. I'm going to bring this down a little bit more so you can see. So isn't that cute? These are tiny. Um, and then the next one I have is this one here, Les Cives. And this says Monday. And if you can tell what this is, this is, this is laundry. And that's what Les Cives means in French. Um, and it just so happens that Mondays are my laundry days. So I thought it would be cute. to um, do just a cute little laundry plant gardening style um, story here because that's what, that seems like what I do. I garden, craft, and I do laundry. Well, among other things, but. And yes, Monday is my, Monday is my laundry day. So, la cive is French for laundry. I'm not. I'm not great on my French, so if I'm not pronouncing everything just so. And these little, these little um, phrases I did, I just made on my computer. 
And I think these are like um, nine, nine point, what do you say, nine point? And then we got this, this fun little Frenchman over here. Bonjour. But I just thought this would be a cute little flip in my, in my journal. Something a little different. This is the bottom of this little house. They kind of look like hotels, but I'm going to say that they are little French villas or and I'm going to put this one down real tight because I want to put a little palm tree and these are tiny but like I said they're almost like little dollhouse style but I really like working with small little small little pieces it's kind of like when you do if you do slow stitching and you're working with sequins or whatever you might be working with. Okay, I'm going to put that little palm tree right there. And then we have our little Frenchman. Just about right, right there like that. See, they're talking to each other. Bring it up a little bit. Sorry about that. I just kind of want to get this up for you now. So this little, this little storyboard, he's saying, bonjour. She's saying hello. And then there, this is in between the, the laundry. You know how they always have laundry hanging off of their uh, balconies. I know they do in the UK. I think they do in the, the, the in France as well. And then uh, he's replying back. Como se va? He's saying, how's it going? He's going, bonjour. All right. So we have that little. Then we're going to open it up here. And then on this side, over here. That's why I do like these, the books with the small images. If you get books with small images like um, this book I showed you. Don't shy away from it um, because they are quite fun um, to use and just kind of browse through and see what see what you can do, you know, with them. Um, I just have to decide which side. Um, I think I'm going to put, I think I had this one. I gotta look at my little man. And this one is gonna go over here on this side here. And let's say this here. I want to do, I have these two, but I'm going to switch this up. I want to have the blue over here. I want to have the green with this. 
Where do I want to have the... Yeah, I want to have the blue. I want to have the blue. And all of these little pieces just came off of the backs um, of a lot of these pages that I was cutting, cutting out. I'm going to put this one on over here. I'll do these two simultaneously instead of one and then the other. That's going to go up there. This, I really wanted, I wanted the blue. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it off because it's that gosh darn art glitter glue. Now I'm going to leave that on there. That's on there pretty good. All right. So maybe I will just move this over. I really wanted that with that. And that with that one. And I have my little, I have my little guy here. He's going to do a little tightrope, a little tightrope walk. These are. Chaussette. That is socks. Chaussette. I think that's how you pronounce it. Chaussette. Those are socks hanging on the line. And then we have our little buddy here who thinks he's a tightrope artist and he's walking on top of the, the clothesline. And we're going to stick him right about here. Isn't he cute? And then we have this laundry. We have the nylons and the brazier hanging. I really like Sarah's, um, I really, really like her uh, sketches. And then we have this guy like, oh dear. And his little beret. Looking at the lingerie. And I just have to decide where I'm going to, where I want to put this one here, this lingerie. If I want it up here, I think I'll put it, I think I'll put it right here. There. So I'm going to get this in my book because this will be glued down. So here is the, the three page where he's asking, how's it going? Bonjour. And here is the laundry. And then we'll be able to open it up. And then we have the socks and the lingerie right here. Aren't they cute? Look at those little guys. I think that's cute. And then um, I'm going, I made some tags. 
So I'm going to slide the tags in and I will show you the tags, but let me go get my book first. Okay, so here's my gardening book. And on the front cover, this is also um, a Ceramida. This came actually out. I have a gardening, of, gardening book of hers. And this is taken from um, one of the pages in her in her gardening book. And I love her gardening book. Um, so I found a page in here and I want to put this because I really like this green. And this I'm going to put right in the center of the page. And I'm going to use, um, let me use this paper clip first to hold this down here. Instead of gluing it, I'm going to use my really heavy double-sided tape. And I use this in my I use this in my journals. This is score tape. This one, um, this isn't quarter of an inch. I think this is half, the half inch. This is just in the wrong. This is in the wrong bag. Um, but I really like this. I'm going to use this here to attach this in my in my book. So we'll cut some pieces here. Put three down. Because I want this to stick really good. And then I'll put the tags in and we'll be all set. All right, and I'm going to put this smack dab in the middle because um, this I want I want to feature this, so I don't need anything else around it. There, and then I can just take it and I can bring it out like this and look at it, and then I can bring it back in, and then I can flip it this way. And then what I made was for the interior pocket, I made a cute little, um, I made a cute little tag here. I think you can see it okay. And this is two Frenchmen sitting on a park bench. And this says picnic in the hills. And then I, these are a shadow of um, trees behind them. I wanted to make it an appearance like they were sitting up on a hill. And then this I like it says bathe in a spring. Um, so I just, I like this. I thought this was really cute. So this is going to go in the pocket right there in the back that I made. So I have a nice little tag there. And then I made, these are just two cute little tags that I had lying around. They look like this. I think they're clothing tags that I had purchased a while ago. And then I made two tags to go inside. And this I thought was really cute. This looks like a big olive vase. Um, it says, um, old something jar. I can't tell what that says. But I have one of the little guys up here. Um, looks like he's just standing and hanging on to the rim. He doesn't want to fall off. And this little Frenchman is, he's, you can tell he's disgusted. He has his hands on his hips and he's like, what the heck are you doing up there? So I made that little tag. We'll put that in. And then this one here, um, I have a little Frenchman here standing bent over fussing with the plants. And this little one down here, just, just wondering like, how did you get up there? What in the Dickens are you doing up there? Get down. You're going to fall. So I thought that was really cute. And on the back, there's plenty of room to make a little note. So these are going to go. I have a little space right here in this, in this little um, envelope tuck spot there. And then this one is going to go right over here on this side. And then we'll just hang the threads, the threads down or we'll leave the threads there. Um, and that's it. Now you can see here that the, um, 
these do raise up a little bit. You don't have to put a tuck spot in. If you want to put these up towards the top, they will lay better. You could also um, add, you could do a little grommet here, and you could put maybe a grommet here if you wanted to do a little tie, but I wouldn't do that because you want to be able to open it like this. So I just think that's really cute. Um, and I'd really, really love to have you try to make one of these for your journal because I just think it's adorable. You could do a little story. There's so many things you could do with this um, style. So yeah, that is today's um, video tutorial. I hope you liked it. And if you did, obviously, I'd love to have you leave a comment. Um, I know this is tedious work. A lot of you don't like to um, do that, but I, I just think it's adorable and it's definitely well worth it. So thanks, everybody. I really enjoyed showing you how to make this little, I'm going to call it a little French storybook. Um, and I will see you in my next video. All right, everybody. Bye-bye.